Hello everyone, welcome back to Fight Tonight channel. Ryan Garcia could be thrust into another big fight, despite a drug controversy. Ryan Garcia and Virgil Ortiz appear to seriously be talking about a fight on the Darren Crawford card in LA. Ryan Garcia could be thrust into another big fight. This, despite an ongoing performance enhancing drugs controversy, Garcia along with fellow Golden Boy stablemate Virgil Ortiz are talking up a possible super fight on the August 3rd show featuring Terence Crawford. Ryan Garcia could be thrust into a big fight in the coming month despite an ongoing drugs controversy. The popular prize fighter, who scored the best win of his boxing career April 20, when he outfought and outpointed Devin Haney, having dropped his American rival three times in the aftermath. A testing agency discovered that he tested positive for performance enhancing drugs, casting doubt on the legitimacy of his display. Regardless, he could earn a never big bolt as he is engaging super welterweight fighter Virgil Ortiz in public discussions over an August 3rd showdown. Ryan Garcia vs Virgil Ortiz is another big boat. If it materializes, it could land on the August 3rd show which Terence Crawford headlines. Some of the world's top promoters, including Oscar de la Hoya, Tom Brown and Eddie Hearn come together for an August 3rd show at the BMO Stadium in Los Angeles. In an event organized and influenced by arguably the sport's top power poker Turkey Alashi. Tov Alashi has often held the events in Saudi Arabia under the Ridia season banner. The summer events marks the first time he is brought his show to the US and considering the tail end on the card, Alashi is looking to make a big impression. Here are the main fights. Israel Madrimo vs Terence Crawford, WBA Super Welterweight World Championship, David Morrill vs Rayway Kalajic, WBA Light Heavyweight World Champion, Isaac Cruz vs Jose Venezuela, WBA Super Lightweight World Champion, Andy Cruz, Antonio Moore, and Lightweight, and Andy Ruiz vs Charles Miller, Heavyweight. A super welterweight match between Ortiz and Tim Zhu was also booked for the card, but the Australian fighter had to withdraw from the event, sitting in injury he suffered from his bloody battle with Sebastian Fandora, which had not had sufficient time to heal to allow a full camp to prepare for Ortiz. Upon hearing the news, Garcia appeared keen to step in and fight his Golden Boy promotions stablemate Ortiz. I love George Ortiz, he my homie, but if I have to step in, I will, he said on social media. Despite the weight disparity, as Garcia competes around super lightweight at 140 pounds and Ortiz is best at 154 at minimum, Garcia sounded confident he could beat Ortiz thanks to a superior record against him in the amateur cure kit. I've been virtual three times in the amateur. 3-0, bra, don't play me like that. It was not long before Ortiz got wind of Garcia's comments and made a comment of his own. I got a call saying you wanna step in and uh, replace team. I already gave my manager the green light to make it happen. Ortiz said, let's make this happen. Ryan, don't let me down. I'll see you August 3rd, Garcia said. Garcia is under fire for positive PAD results. His status and ability to compete is unclear. The fight talks arrive hot on the heels of news that Garcia's B sample of a test starring the Haney fight, like his A sample, tested positive for Astorine, thus rolling out lab error per ASPN. Toth Garcia has protested his nonsense, Haney's father Bill told. Haney said, there is nothing you can do with this guy but get him out of the sport. I feel undermined to sign up to do this and for him to make a mockery of the sport. I don't know where I came from, Garcia said last month. Astorian contamination and the intent, where does the Ryan Garcia case stand? Floyd Mayweather thinks Shaku Stevenson more skilled fighter than Jarwante Davis. Floyd Mayweather and Jarwante Davis have had some ups and downs over the years, and Mayweather spoke on the 135 pounds division. Shaku Stevenson and Jarwante Davis both returned to action and both boxed this summer. 
That is in particular is considered one of the best in the sport, having not long ago knocked out boxing star Ryan Garcia very quickly, inside the distance. That said, Mayweather still thinks Stevenson is a better skilled fighter than Davis. Speaking to come and talk to me podcast, he said, as of right now, well, probably, well, the two guys, the biggest puncher I feel at 35 pounds is probably Jerwandi, but the most skillful fighter at 35 pounds will be hands down Shakur Stevenson. Interesting comment. Davis is certainly the biggest star as well for now, commanding a big fan base in America in particular. Many believe Stevenson has very special ability, however, if he fulfills it, Jerwan D. Davis came off an impressive victory against Ryan Garcia in April last year and will now face Frank Martin. However, enthusiasts are already speculating potential opponents for the Baltimore prodigy. Boxing pundits and the fans have paid Red Davis with another well-known unbeaten fighter. They have been debating the outcome of such a bout. The other boxer is none other than Shakur Stevenson. Both Davis and Stevenson are undefeated and will surely sell out arenas if they decide to fight each other. As the conversation has stirred up about this fight, Davis' former promoter Floyd Mayweather was asked about his aim, and he had a rather diplomatic answer. Floyd Mayweather is not one to pick sides. Floyd Mayweather Jr. was on Common to Talk To Me podcast show and was asked about the best fighters in the lightweight division. Both Shakur and Tank have been putting up great fighters until now, but Mayweather chose not to pick a side and praise at both boxers for their talent. Stevenson is known as a defensive fighter, just like Mayweather was in his day. Toph Davis is undoubtedly the biggest puncher in the lightweight class. There are other prospects who might give Stevenson a run for his money in terms of skills. Meanwhile, take a look at what Davis has to say about Stevenson's technique here. Sugar Stevenson issues an open challenge. Tank has contradictory views as compared to Mayweather when talking about Stevenson's skills while discussing Sugar's fighting proofs. Davis stated, Show me something he did outrageous. Show me. His power not outrageous. His what defense? He just hump. Furthermore, he went on to analyze Stevenson's technique and added, you never see him sleep, no punch, never, go look at, he back up from a lot of people, back up, move around, move around, you got no technique and his offense is the same thing, if you go look at these fights. Apparently, Davis does not think of Shakur Stevenson as being on the same level as him, Stevenson on the other hand has a benefiting reply to Tank. While talking about the Baltimorean hard hitter Stevenson said, are really going to fight me or just going to keep saying what you are going to do somebody? Shut up and fight me. When the tension surrounding this fight is increasing with each passing day, Davis has a fight scheduled against Frank Martin on June 15th. Sugar, on the other hand, is uncertain about his next move. My weather's comments have worked as fuel. Meanwhile, what are your thoughts on his remarks about the two fighters? Share it in, in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.